What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have tons and tons of WWE action figure news to cover. Guys, we got multiple basic series. We got a new epic elite figure set that is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles right now. And we're going to get straight into it, guys. We're going to cover what attires they may possibly be. And we're going to just go through the entire lineup, let you guys know about these basics and everything, guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So here's the new Elite set, guys. It is Elite Series 67. Yes, it is up for pre-order right now. And we do not know if this will be the exact attires of the wrestlers, you know, when they release. We are all banking on it. You know, these are all great attires for each one of these guys. But we are not sure. I do know for a fact that Randy Orton is the Chase variant. I'm pretty sure that is the case. If it's not him, then it will be Rey Mysterio. But I'm pretty sure I heard months and months ago that Elite Series 67 Randy Orton, when we saw his prototype on display, that he was going to be the Chase variant in the set. But what we're going to do is run through each figure individually. Guy, we'll start off with Jeff Hardy, and we will run through, you know, what possible tires it could be and everything with that so let's go ahead and get started so first off guys we do have the charismatic enigma jeff hardy this custom in the middle was made by dork 105 and it is the photo that ringside collectibles put in the elite 67 pre-order lineup however you know that's not always the case you know that's not always the attire they give us when the figure is released from mattel so who knows what we're getting we do know that we're going to get this screaming head skin that looks absolutely incredible this is the prototype that was on display we are going to get his signature hands before he does the swan time bomb and this is going to be an early contender for figure of the year. I feel like this is going to be an epic set. I do not care, you know, what attire they go with. They could even go with a flashback Jeff, and I think everybody would be happy. It is a Jeff Hardy, and, you know, he's one of probably the all-time favorites from the fans. So I think that uh, this is going to be an epic figure, regardless of what they choose. Um, this is what it will look like in the middle if they do go with that ringside collectibles photo that they posted. However, you know, that's not always the case, like we said. So, I mean, I, I'm happy for it either way. The face scan looks amazing, and with the true effects, and the hopefully, it's going to be a, uh, you know, a screaming face painted Jeff Hardy, and if it's not, I'll be fine with it. Maybe they'll give us two interchangeable heads, one with a screaming head, one with a straight face, or one painted, one non-painted, but this figure is sick nonetheless. Next up, guys, we have my boy Randy Orton, and this figure looks sick AF. I think it's going to hands down be his best figures to date. You know, he is getting the Chase variant. I think I confirmed that a few months back. And I believe it's going to be the attire on the left, that Armageddon 2005 attire in the red and silver and black. I think that is what was confirmed by Mattel. I'm not exactly sure what attire, but I think they said it was going to be in red. Um, I wish it was SummerSlam 2004 where he took on, you know, Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship. He could come with the World Heavyweight title. He could come with, you know, a slew of good stuff. And that would be what I would choose. But um, I did hear them say that it was going to be a red attire. So this is probably what it's going to be Armageddon, possibly Backlash 2004 as well, it could be. Um, so hopefully it's one of those threes. As far as the current one, it is going to be an updated figure from, I guess, 2017 or 2018, and that is a custom in the middle by Dork105. He did make the one on the left as well. Very talented customizer. I think that this is what the figure will look like, not only the Chase variant, but, you know, the regular one in the set. I think this is what we're going to get. Probably, you know, black trunks. Randy Orton really doesn't wear anything bright. If he does, it'll be like red designs, or maybe it'll be a WrestleMania design with the, the bronze colored shorts. That would be sick AF as well. Maybe we get a cloth hoodie or something. So I'm, I'm expecting something special with the Randy Orton. Hopefully they don't just continue the rubber jackets and stuff. Maybe we'll get an Usos type jacket or something like that with Randy, but it'll be obviously a vest because he doesn't wear the sleeves. But I'm happy with it. I'm looking forward to a Randy Orton. Hopefully it's a lot better than his WrestleMania 34 Elite. Next up, guys, we have a Rey Mysterio in the set, Elite 67 Rey Mysterio, and in the picture that Ringside posted, it looks like it's going to be Halloween Havoc from his WCW days, and if that is the case, then this is what the figure will look like. This was made by Bubble and Squeak Customs on Instagram. Absolutely amazing job on this custom. It comes with, you know, a, a mask that goes over his initial mask, and I think that everybody would flip out over this figure. Everybody's already going wild on Instagram and around the community about this figure, and they're very excited if it's going to be the Halloween Havoc attire. Like, why would they use that specific look of Rey Mysterio? Why not look, you know, give us a 2018 look if uh, we were going to get an updated Rey Mysterio? I honestly would like an updated Rey Mysterio, but I think that if we're going to get a flashback, then this is the attire to get. I love the purple. It looks great. Bubble and Squeak did a fantastic job on this, but we are going to be getting a flashback Rey Mysterio, it looks like, in Elite 67. So, freaking happy for this figure and can't wait to see what it looks like. 
Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have my boy Cedric Alexander. I am going crazy over this figure. I cannot wait for it. Hopefully this comes out before the MDT Royal Rumble, man, because I would love to see him debut in the MDT Royal Rumble. Cedric Alexander looking like a boss out here. This figure looks incredible. The head scan with that true effects is going to be phenomenal. Hopefully they pick one of his good attires. You know, he has a lot of good ones. I love his all-white attire, or not all-white, but it's mostly white that he wore on 2 off 5 Live. He has his red royal blue and black attire and then he has this reverse color where it is royal blue red and black which i like all three of those attires and then of course you have his wrestlemania or whatever in the black panther inspired attire which would also be great so that's four attires that he could you know that mattel could give us and i would be happy with any of them obviously we're probably going to get the cruiserweight championship which obviously that that should come with cedric alexander giving his he was a champion for so long and then maybe we'll get a sick entrance jacket hopefully it won't be rubber maybe it'll be like a flexible type deal um, you know, the little zip-up thing he comes out in, that would be really sick as well. So hopefully they give us a good attire, but I cannot wait to see what the prototype looks like. The fifth figure in this set, guys, is Shayna Baszler. We saw her prototypes on display as well, and I don't know how I feel about the figure. I think that it's solid, like, as far as the head scan goes. I'm not the biggest fan of Shayna Baszler. I do like her character in NXT. I think she's improved a whole ton. However, you know, I'm, I'm just not big on it. I do like that we're getting a new women's character instead of a repeat like Nia Jax or Ronda Rousey. I like that we're getting a new figure. Like, I would like to see Kyrie Sane or possibly, you know, Bianca Belair or something like that in the set, um, but I still like Shayna Baszler as far as that goes, um, that we're getting a new figure, a new women's figure in our rosters, but um, I don't know. I don't know how this figure is going to look. I don't really know what her attire is. I think it's like black and gold, so I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Her head scan looks good as far as the facial expression, but I think I would prefer her hair down or long or something like that. I think this is when she had like a, her little bun or something. It looks like her head shaved, so it kind of looks awkward, and then she comes with that mini towel, so I don't know how to feel. I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's all painted up. And the last figure in this set, guys, is Velveteen Dream, and I'm super excited for this. I love the face scan they went with. He comes with his glasses. I think the sculpt is amazing. I'm very excited to see what attire they choose. You know, they did give him his actual boots that he does have in real life. I like the, the you know, like the build maybe a bit big. It's kind of like the Kurt Angle issue. Like, we could switch this out for Shelton Benjamin's torso, and I think that's probably going to be what a lot of people do. I think that'll make the figure a lot better. He doesn't have any tattoos, I'm pretty sure, or at least any that are prominent on his body. So I think I think we could switch that out with Shelton Benjamin and it would look a lot better. Maybe we can do that on action figure surgery when we get the figure and stuff like that. I do like the arms. I think that it's going to be a great figure. Hopefully they pick one of his cool attires. I'm excited to see which attire they go with and I can't wait to see what the true effects looks like over this beautiful sculpt. It does look like Velveteen Dream before they even put the true effects over it. Same thing with the rest of the people in this set. Like I can't wait to see the fully painted versions of most of these. So it's going to be epic as crap when we finally see. But Velveteen Dream, who would have thought we were going to get it in Elite 67. Cannot wait to add it to our rosters. Going to be great stuff, but that completes Elite Series 67. Next up, guys, we do have a basic series for you guys, and it is Basic Series 94. We got AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Bray Wyatt, and Rusev. And I gotta say, AJ Styles, this is just a basic version of Elite Series 66. Different head scan, though, is kind of unfortunate. We're not gonna get a repeat of the Elite 66 head scan here. Kurt Angle does look great. I do love the head scan here. I think it's a better version of the Entrance Grace. If you wanted to get that and then switch it with the Entrance Grace, I think that would be an upgrade. Bray Wyatt, I do like this. This is the first time we're getting sort of this smiling, laughing head scan. I think that would look great on his Elite 54 figure. I think that if somebody did that swap, that would be a really cool swap. And then this Rusev, guys. This Rusev head scan is much better than his Elite 65. I did do a repaint of it. I haven't showed you guys yet. I'll put it on the next action figure surgery video or something. But um, I did repaint the head scan of Rusev, and it looks a hundred times better. Um, this looks better than my repaint, but it's still... It, this is like miles ahead of the Elite 65 figure. The Elite 65 looks like a grumpy old high Rusev. And uh, this, this looks much better. So I may have to grab this basic just to head swap mine because this looks a lot better than the original Elite 65. I think they should probably do it. If they wanted to make more money, they could just make terrible head scans for the Elites and then release that same figure in the basic form and do a better head scan. And then so you have to buy both. They could do that, but hopefully they don't do that. They did do that with Rusev here, though. Next up, guys, we have Basic Series 95. We got a full set of New Day figures in like an up, up, down, down slash Christmas looking attire. I really don't know what they're going for here. I don't know the specific event they wore this. You know, all their head scans are pretty much the same. That may be a new Kofi Kingston head scan, but Big E, this is a worthless figure. Xavier, worthless figure. Both of those head scans have been used before. I mean, there's no particular reason you should get these. Matt Hardy's the same way. I do like the Mower of Lawn t-shirt on that white attire for Matt Hardy, but it is the Epic Moments head scan 
scan. I guess you could get the Epic Moments head scan basic right here because, you know, that's the Chase variant, by the way, if you didn't know. I think the Mower of Lawn is the Chase variant, and then the regular version is the Delete, Delete, Delete shirt that he's wearing there. But it is the Epic Moments Matt Hardy head scan, and I guess you could get it just because I don't think they re-released that figure just yet. You know, it's hard to get as far as that head scan is concerned. So I guess if you wanted that head scan for your other Matt Hardy Elite figures, you could grab it, but that's not something I would be interested in. I do like that we're getting the Mower of Lawn. I like that t-shirt. It's funny and everything, but I think I would rather have it with an Elite with a cloth t-shirt instead of, you know, in basic form. All basics are pretty much worthless nowadays, guys. It's it's pretty sad to see where basics have fallen. You know, you can't do arm swaps anymore. You can't, you know, take their lower legs or anything. It's just the articulation's terrible. The only thing they're good for is head scans when they actually give them a good head scan. So hopefully, you know, in the next, like, they can improve basics. If they would just give them really good head scans, people would buy them just to switch them onto the elites. But besides that, if you're just repeating head scans, I mean, why even release the figures? I feel like we're just wasting money in plastic when you do that. But uh, that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. We got Elite Series 67 up for pre-order. If you'd like to go ahead and pre-order all those figures or any of them that you like, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10% on that full set. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all the figures here today. Elite 67, all the basic series. What do you think of basics in general? What attires do you hope Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Velveteen Dream, Shayna Baszler, Cedric Alexander, and whoever the crap the third figure were a Mysterio. Uh, what you hope their attires are down below for Elite Series 67. Are you hyped for it? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.